At the moment, we can like and unlike a given post by tapping on the like button or by double tapping on the image. So we see the heart fill in and fill out, but we don't see any feedback specifically when we're tapping on the image to like or unlike it. So let's add that by adding an image, I should say a heart icon directly within the image when we like it. So to enable that within our post widget, let's head up to the top and we'll have another piece of state, a Boolean called show heart. And we'll set that initially to false. So within our handle like post function, when we like a given post, we increase its like count, set is like to true, etc. Here we're also going to set show heart to true. So at this point, we'll show our heart icon directly within the middle of the image. However, we don't want it to stay there. We only want to show it for about half a second. So what we can do after we set state is we can once again use a timer from the async library, dart async, which we'll import. Then we'll set another duration for which we're going to show the heart. And to do it for about half a second, we can set milliseconds to 500. Then we'll add our anonymous callback. And here is where we're going to set state and set show heart to false. So show heart being set to true is going to display the heart icon. And after half a second, we're going to hide it. And how are we going to transpose that heart icon in front of our image? Well, this is going to be very simple because we have a special widget as the child of our gesture detector called stack. So we can stack widgets on top of one another. So to put our heart icon in front of our network image, after the image, we can add a ternary where if show heart is true, we'll display an icon with icons.favorite the size of 80 and we'll make the color colors.red and if show heart is false we'll just put in a text widget with an empty string so let's see how this works we'll save and when we double tap our image we see for a brief moment half a second our heart icon and that's just when we like it, not on unlike. So this is nice, but we can make it even better. What if we made the heart beat as it was being shown? Well, fortunately, we have a package that'll make it very easy to do just that, and that is the animator package. So to make our heart beat out, to enlarge just a little bit as we're displaying it, we'll just briefly comment out our ternary here and we'll bring in the class animator by importing the animator package. So first of all, to animate a widget, we need to provide a duration. How long is the animation going to take place? So for duration, we can use the duration widget and set milliseconds to say 300, a little bit less than the total time that we're showing it, which is half a second or 500 milliseconds. Then we need to provide a tween value. We do this with the tween widget and we need to decide where this animation is going to begin, at what size it's going to begin, and at what size it's going to end. So the begin value, since we're using a scale animation, meaning we're scaling the size of the heart from smaller to larger to make it beat out, we'll set begin to a value slightly less than one. And to make it a bit larger, we can have it end at a value slightly larger than 1, say 1.4. Feel free to play around with these numbers. But the value 1 is just going to be the current size of whatever we're animating. Then we need to pick the curve. So again, as we know from our page transition from working with that, we know there's a lot of different ones to use. So you might want to check out bounce out or say ease out. I'm going to go for the 
elastic out curve. And you'll see in just a second how that will look. We'll set cycles to zero. We don't want this to cycle whatsoever. We just want it to animate once. And then we're going to have a builder function, which is going to return our widget and perform the scale animation. So builder has a required parameter of anim that contains information about what we've provided here to perform the animation. And we're going to return transform dot scale. Again, we're changing the size of this icon. So this is going to be a scale animation. For the scale value, we'll set that to anim dot value. And then for our child, that will be our widget, our favorite icon. And that's really all that we need to do. So let's reinstate our previous ternary, where we're only going to return this animator widget if show hard is true. Otherwise, we'll return a text widget with an empty string. And we can remove our uncommented code or our commented code. So now let's try this out. We'll save and see how our animation looks. So if we double tap our image, we see it thumps just a little bit. So I think that's a nice bit of visual feedback that enhances our application versus just having an empty image when we like a post. So again, feel free to play around with this. Feel free to play around with the animator widget, the different curves, the duration, the sizes that you tween to, and definitely check out the animator package to see more information about the different animations you can perform. I'd recommend going to pub.dev and searching for the animator package, and there you'll find a great guide to get started with.